Hello, my name is Abraham Klein. And uh, recently, and by recently I mean probably two months ago by now, I uh, did a video in which I participated in the uh, Tide Pod Challenge. And that was a pretty popular thing way back then. Uh, I think it's pretty much died off now. And for the most part, it has just become an opportunity for uh, adults to make fun of uh, young people. <laughs> But, uh, you know, internet challenges have been a thing for a while. Probably ever since the internet's been around, there's probably been internet challenges. I know, you know, there was the planking challenge. There was the bottle flip challenge. I know that was big for a while. But it seems like we've digressed to the point where it's just do something stupid challenge. Uh, eh, please don't let that, you know, get out there. Uh, but the, uh, you know, the Tide Pod challenge. And now I'm seeing this thing... Uh, and and perhaps it's even died off now, but there was this challenge where people were taking their forearms and putting it on the the uh, the skillet to a, uh, a a stove, and that was the challenge. And it, you know, just dumb stuff. And again, I'm not against actual internet challenges as long as you're not doing something stupid like Tide Pods and putting your arms on a skillet or something like that. But uh, you know, nothing wrong with that. I mean, the, the the bottle flip challenge, that was pretty cool. That was pretty fun. Uh, but when it comes to internet challenges, uh, you know, why aren't we doing something constructive? And I'm not trying to start my own challenges, but if I could at least encourage somebody else out there to maybe start a challenge of their own, start uh, doing something that isn't just some little, so, and again, nothing wrong with doing a, a silly little thing like a plank or a, a bottle flip challenge or something like that. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, I, hopefully those will continue, those kinds, as long as they're not, again, like tied pods and arms on the stove. But, uh, you know, we, we should be trying to uh, create challenges in our own lives in which we challenge ourselves to do something instructive. And, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about that myself recently. I was going through a local newspaper, and it's actually one that I write for, and uh, I found this little section where the local American Legion was asking for donations. And, and they were asking, uh, they had this list of different things that they uh, accept uh, for uh, different, for active duty, and uh, maybe even... Uh, uh, non-active duty veterans, I'm not really sure. I, I, I think it's probably mostly for active. Uh, but their list included, they accepted Slim Jims, gum, uh, peanuts and small bags, razors, large hankies, headbands, playing cards, crossword books, Kool-Aid tubes, uh, shaving cream, travel shampoo, toothpaste, toothbrushes, foot powder, socks, hard candy, beef jerky, uh, cup meals and canned food. These are things that they were, you know, basically accepting. And I thought, huh, I wonder if I could just go to a local store and get at least one of all these items. So I did that. I went to the local Dollar General here in Salzburg where I live, and I picked up uh, at least one. Some, some of them I picked up more than one. The only thing I wasn't able to find was a headband. But I went. I went to the local uh, uh, Dollar General. This is not a. This is not a sponsorship uh, plug. Uh, but I went there and I got. And some things I got more than one. Like with the crossword puzzles, I got a crossword puzzle, a Sudoku puzzle, a word search puzzle as well. And so I got all of those items, and the total came to forty one dollars and fifteen cents. Now, if I would have just got just one of all of those items, it probably would have been under $40. And that was just, you know, one little one little uh, trip to the store. I was able to get one of all of those items. And just like that, in one little 10-minute, maybe it might have been 15-minute trip to the local store, I was able to provide a local veteran with... All of those items that they were asking for from the local uh, American Legion. And uh, that's pretty amazing. And so I thought, you know, that should be something that we should be challenging ourselves to do. And maybe it's not veterans. Maybe it's an animal shelter. Maybe it's uh, something to help people with addiction. Maybe it's something to help people 
uh, children struggling with hunger, whatever it might be. Uh, find those those people that are in need, and if you can, go to the store. Find those items that they that they need. Find those items that they would like. And I'll be honest with you, if you if you find those things, nine times out of ten, it's probably not going to cost you a lot of money. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Just simple little items that can help somebody in their everyday life. And uh, those are the things I want to challenge myself to do. I know uh, I don't always have the money to help. Sometimes I, sometimes I like to help and I can't. But when I do, that's what I want to challenge myself to do. Those are the things that I want uh, to, to, to give toward. Because that's the best challenge of all is... Again, there's not. Again, I don't find anything wrong with a silly little internet challenge for fun. But really, when I want to challenge myself, I want to challenge myself to do something good. My question for you is, are you up for the challenge? Thanks for watching.